Hello and welcome back to Bali Day 7. So obviously we had some pretty massive news yesterday. Um, and today we've got another experience. We're going on a snorkeling and waterfall trip and the driver's gonna pick us up at about eight o'clock, I think. So we've got a little bit of time now, gonna have some breakfast, have some coffee, and then get going on this experience. It should be a really good day. I think it's a full day, a full day tour. So really looking forward to it. The weather's beautiful as ever. Jake's making coffee. What more could you ask for? Starting the day with some greens, just as a health insurance policy, really for the day. Not as like a substitute for actually eating vegetables. Um, but if you want to shop the greens, we have an affiliate link in the description of this video, and you can use code Planes and Gains for extra money off. They're pretty good, aren't they? They are so good. <laughs> the greens. We had to rush breakfast down. <laughs> it was so fast. It wasn't very enjoyable. Jake got a message saying that it. the taxi driver said, right, we've got to go. It was like 20 minutes early, but now we're getting our equipment. <laughs> down a random street in a harbour. Don't really know where we are. Don't really know where the driver's gone. We've put in our lunch order. <laughs> we've put in our lunch order. Me, Nessie, Got a bottle of water. And I'm really gonna try and buy a coffee because there wasn't time for that either. And lagging. <laughs> really lagging. We had a mouse in our villa last night. It was chaos. Woke up at 4 a.m., some rustling, turned on the lights, we saw it climb out the lunch bag. <laughs> oh, oh, and and so it, it went spread. somewhere. Don't know where it went. We don't know. But that was very disrupted nicely. So I'm very, very tired. Needs a coffee, but. Happy, it. optimistic, it's going to be a good day, just need, just need coffee. <laughs> Random location that we got all the equipment this morning. We went to two different snorkeling locations. Um, they were both amazing. They were both beautiful. It's so stunning out there. Quite busy, but really stunning. It just felt very random all the time, didn't it? Like random, yeah. Like everything the lack was made of communications, up. amazing. Didn't but you know, we go with the flow. Yeah, I've no idea. Didn't, couldn't cool. tell you the name of any of the places. One of them's called Blue Lagoon, but there's Blue Lagoons everywhere. Um, but they were beautiful. They were really beautiful. The first one had a lot of, a lot of jellyfish. And I think oh, you got, so starved. you got a nasty stick. So, so that was interesting. Uh, and now I think we're getting lunch. We're sitting down now, waiting for our lunch. I got a nasi goreng. You got a mi goreng. Really classic, classic. Really nice spot actually. It looks like a nice restaurant. I don't know whether we told you earlier, but I did get my coffee. We got a 11K, <laughs> which is about 50 pence in pounds. Um, barley coffee this morning, which really helped my mood to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It really changed, turned the day around. Um, and we got some little like chocolate granola bites, which are really nice. But it's been a really nice day. We're gonna have lunch here. Then we're going to a waterfall. I think that's the end of the day. Yeah. Good vibes. Good experiences. Maybe we'll link them in the top corner. I'll put the link up here. <laughs> Not in my thoughts. <laughs> so, after we left, um, there was an option to go to two different waterfalls, isn't there? There was one that we were going to go to yesterday, um, Tanugan Waterfall, and it's a lot we bigger might be than the other one. Yeah, it was a lot bigger, um, so we decided to go to that one after. Um, yeah. It was about an hour drive. It was, it was, and we've just arrived, and it, it is super busy. I feel like everywhere is in the middle of the day in Bali in August. So it's not surprising, but it looks like a really cool waterfall, so it'll still be really nice. Mm -hmm. And we can leave all of our stuff in this car. So. Yeah, lock it up and head over to the waterfall. Hopefully it's good. This car park is rammed, but we have a lovely driver and he's been really nice. Yes. We might try and get him to do a private tour for us because he's that good. Mm. Really lovely and really good English. We've just got back to the villa after our trip to the waterfall. How did you find it? It was it wasn't as busy as I would have thought. Um, yeah, I agree. 
But there wasn't much to do either. Like, no, there's just a lot of shops. I think once you've seen it and taken it all in, you've kind of done it. Yeah, I do agree. Um, I do agree. It was really nice to see. Apparently, it's the biggest waterfall like near Abood. So a lot of people that are staying here will go to that one as their preference, like all the others. Apparently, there's another waterfall that you can like go down as well. So it's, that sounded a like bit more interesting for me. It. So you might try and do some more waterfall exploring next week, just just to see what else is out there. But it was a lovely day, and it wasn't that expensive, was no. it? I think it was about thirty pounds each. Yeah, it's not too bad. You could probably find stuff that's cheaper, but it was still like you got to do a lot for the money. And our driver was so nice. So yeah, had a nice day. Came and back of course, and wash. There was a coffee plantation offered to us at the end. There's another coffee plantation offered. You know, on the first day when we were coming back from the airport, we thought it was something really special to be offered to be taken around a coffee plantation. It wasn't. They do it Everywhere. in every tour. Every tour offers a coffee plantation <laughs> visit. And they're all exactly the same. Yeah. Once you've done one, you've done them all. <laughs> so be wary of that if you come to Bali. It's nice to see for sure, but like they'll try and put them on every single tour ever. Um, so yeah. We're going to go into a boot in a bit. So we've come out for a little bite to eat. Um, we decided to explore a new area of a boot because you may have noticed from some of our other videos that we end up in a lot of the same areas. So we deliberately picked a different area. So we've come to this restaurant called Cafe Wayan and it's incredible. It's all so beautifully decorated in such a traditional bar in this day. And we're currently sat on tables like this with cushions on the floor. Um, and we were told by our driver today that Wayan is the name given to the first born male in the family. So that's why loads of men in Bali are called Wayan, <laughs> um, because it's the first born guy. So that makes a lot more sense now because so many people we've met have been called Wayan. We've just finished the food. We both had a massive jumbo for Maine, and then Jake had a banana split, and I just had some ice cream for dessert. Everything, we're not even joking, was the best food that we've tried here so far. Like, absolutely incredible. So much flavour, so fresh, so delicious. They do this like massive sharing platter that you have to book 24 hours in advance for, which they're definitely coming back for one day because it was that good. So, very impressed. Um, yeah. I have no words. We picked up some more incense because ours was so small and it was burning through so quickly and we needed some more meteor stuff. So we got this from the art market in Abood. They're just like 30k, which is like £1.50. But it's really nice vibes here in the evening. I really Bloody like bargain. Yeah, it's good. I don't know whether they're just closing up or... No, me neither. Whether they're just like open late, maybe. But it's yeah. strange, but good vibes. Very we bought vibes. it for £1.50. Yeah. Which I don't Very know happy. if that's a good price or not, know, but no, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> So we just got back to the villa after doing some of the Ubud art markets at night, which were really beautiful actually. Some really lovely stuff there. Um, we're gonna sign off the video here. We really hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we're actually going to the monkey forest in Ubud because on one of our grab journeys earlier, we got a scooter past the monkey forest and it just looked really cool. It looked really awesome. I thought it would look really touristy and just like a bit westernized but it looked really really good so we thought okay we'll give it a go it looks like it's four pounds entry per person online so it's not so bad either price wise so the plan for tomorrow will be get up go to the local we're going for breakfast get a grab to the monkey forest go around the monkey forest and then come back for an afternoon of work and we hope to see you there so please subscribe um if you've enjoyed this video and please give it a like if you'd like to see any more from us and hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.